Welcome back to Calmston Farm and today we've got a bunch of jobs to do around the yard. Gonna get this field fertilized and also get some lime spread around the fields that we've got done and then I'm gonna crack on with some plowing in the background between videos and yeah, we'll uh, make some progress towards springtime. Let's hit that intro. <music> So yeah, we can get the plow off the back of the fence for a little while. Now I do still have the communal areas that I am going to plow in. But for now, we're going to get some manure cleared out and up to the BGA. Uh, the BGA, or the, I haven't edited, I'm really tempted to edit the BGA to make it more like my BGA in terms of production speed. It's giving us a bit of an income, but it's not quite quick enough is it the other option is i uh, work a way to earn enough cash to add my bga into this safe as well but obviously we've already got it on greenlands so yeah do i want to have it on another map i don't know i don't know whether it's getting a bit silly then um so i decided to take on a plowing contract as well this was a bad idea this is a big field to do with a two and a half meter plow uh, and it takes a really long time but does make us 13 grand in the end um, some of it is going to run on course play and some of it i do myself so yeah we'll see how we get on with that let's get this manure up to the bga and um i think we're gonna do some fertilizing then so i'm I recorded this gameplay a while ago and this video is being recorded way way before you'll get to see it i think so yeah um kind of forgotten what order i did things in which is maybe bad but the uh, price on the wheat is pretty good in december so we're going to get most of that sold i'm going to hold on to a little bit in case we need it for any animals we get in the future um, particularly with maize plus on the way we might want some wheat so i'll sell three trailer loads of 45,000 liters uh, a fairly nice six grand per trailer load and considering we're playing on hard economic difficulty i'm pretty pleased with that uh, and we really did that harvest on field six to get some straw so which we've used barely any of but that's a different problem in fact we haven't used any of the bales that we made just the loose straw that we bedded the cows with up right at the very start maze plus will allow us to play with that and i think i'm going to up the consumptions of pretty much everything um so the cows that we've got at the moment are only eating three and a half thousand liters of feed a day um, which is really not very much so yeah i'm gonna really crank that up once we get maze plus because that will allow us to play around with those kind of things and we're going to get more cows so for spring time once we've got the grass fields replanted particularly field eight we're going to be putting an open cow pasture in there and getting ourselves a fairly large herd of beef cattle to feed out there um, assuming we can raise the cash to do that There'll be some contracting involved to get there, I'm pretty sure. And we have a lot of silage to sell as well. Um, so through the winter, I am going to be feeding silage into the BGA fairly steadily to uh, A, clear that bunker out ready for first cut and B, to make some cash. You know, we've got still probably 450,000 litres of silage in the clamp to get rid of. So just looking there which fields need lime and if there are any lime buy points on the map i was thinking of going and buying a trailer full of lime um but instead when we need that we're going to go and buy big bags but we're just going to get some fertilizer on field six first we had fertilizer knocking around guessing from doing fertilizing contracts earlier in the year i think that's probably the only reason that we had fertilizer and just treating this as one field to to get the fertilizer on it haven't fully decided on a crop rotation yet, so we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. 2nd of December now, so the middle of December, and uh, time to feed the cows, and this is where I work out just how little they actually eat. Um, but we're gonna get some TMR mixed up. Uh, 
and just getting the 13 and a half grand for that plowing contract that we eventually finished with the Ford. That did take a long time. We, have, we do a lot of plowing um, and I do most of it off camera. So I end up plowing in, done, I think at this point we've done fields six, eight and 12. I end up between this video and the next one plowing all of the communal areas in as fields and getting those limed so that next video we will be progressing into spring um, and getting planting done. I didn't want to do too many videos through the winter so I do skip a lot of time. That's the cows fed. We need to empty this trailer so that we can go and get the lime. So time to put these bales properly in the shed. We have a lot of hay stored up. So yeah, it would be good to get more animals to eat some of this hay and turn it into profit. Or we could sell it. I might sell some of it. That does mean loading it back onto a trailer, which yeah. I think I sold some last time. I think that when, when we made the hay off of field 12, I think I sold some of that and we did okay. So maybe we should think about selling some of the older hay off and the small round bales that we made right at the start of the series. Might be a good idea. Might do that in a couple of videos time because I've already recorded most of the next video. So yeah, we'll just send the Ford off to the store and uh, we'll take the we're going to set the trailer on the little John Deere it should do the job I think and we're going to buy a bunch of bags of lime and bag lifter um, I thought we could put the cherry one on a front loader but we can't it's a, a telehandler only mod so just gone for some pallet forks not a bag I think I have a bag lifter back at the farm uh, pallet forks will be handy as well So the Greenlands video, the first one has been out for a few days as I'm recording this. The second one, so episode one, has just gone live as I'm recording this. I'm curious to see if it does as well as the first episode because that thing has gone nuts. I think the YouTube algorithm picked it up about a day after it was released and the views just went crazy. So yeah, um, really appreciate everyone watching that video. So get a few more bags to see if we can get. 12 on here hopefully that will do all the fields that we need to do and obviously you get through a lot of lime and we only have the uh the the fertilizer spreader so it's going to empty really quickly spreading lime hey okay. uh, something that i've just discovered and it'll be a while obviously because it's a delay between ways link in the description below check out cartex channel he is a fairly small youtuber who's got an awesome series running on Carlston. Uh, he's a subscriber of mine and he chats on my discord and i didn't realize he made videos and they're really good um so go watch him and subscribe and like his videos and stuff it's, it's really deserves a lot more subscribers and views so yeah go watch his videos as well right let's load up the lime spreader and uh start the process of liming this gigantic field something i have found i think it's, it's an fs22 thing if you jump out the tractor after you hit lower it doesn't lower the implement which is a little bit annoying when you're trying to do stuff quickly but hey get this filled up and i'm guessing we're not even going to get once around the field with this before we need to put some more in oh yeah and we really should put in a pressure washer because the tractors are going to be coated in lime after this uh, quick shout out to all the channel members the uh, the ever growing list there are a few more now and I appreciate that you uh, support the channel and uh, help me out a bit and I found a better way of putting channel members into the save game now I think um, so uh, yeah hopefully that works a little bit better and I might do a video on it because if you want to have like because there's, there's the helper uh, the mod that I try to use to name helpers and I didn't really like it I didn't really like how it worked um, so I found a better way of doing it through unsurprisingly for me editing the XML and if it works well I might do a video on it if you want to get custom helper names and stuff like that because 
yeah i think it's kind of cool it's kind of easy um i guess the tricky bit is it means editing base game stuff which is never a brilliant idea but hey getting massive 50 meter spread on this thing but no capacity quickly covering this field we could probably do some sort of extension tank for fertilizer because once we get into spring and summer we're going to be hitting those fertilizing contracts really hard to uh, make some cash and i think at that point we will definitely be getting a uh, box to go on the front from one of the uh, cedars that are available i think that's going to be a really sensible idea so we can just hammer around the map and knock out fertilizing contracts pretty quickly and i would like to pay down the big loan that we have over the summer we've got about a half a million pound loan and it'd be nice to take a dent out of that through summertime not sure if the dog noises are coming through still recording these with the dogs the poorly dog um as of now, which is Wednesday, he's doing much better. And by the time you watch this, hopefully he'll be doing even better. I think this video is going to come out on Friday or Saturday, something like that. So yeah, hopefully he'll be doing much, much better by then. Pretty quick getting lime onto field 12, not the hugest field in the world. So this is going to be our sugar beet field and grass. So that's all of our main fields limed. We will need to lime the other bits that we need. So we need to do the cow pasture, but I'm not going to do that right until just before we can seed it because I don't like the, uh, having that as mud. It just doesn't look right to me. Um, so that will need liming probably. And the communal areas that I'm going to plow in will also need liming. But for now, we can get all this put away. Finally, finding a use for this very long thin shed, we can just about get the Ford in there with the front loader to store our. Uh, what have we got in there? I think we've got herbicide and lime and solid fur. That's going to become our consumables storage shed. A little skid steer or something would be great for getting in and out of there. Um, or telehandler, probably. Long term, we will be looking at getting a telehandler on here freeing up to one of the tractors. We've had quite a lot of snow as you can see and we are headed back down to the store. Didn't crash. Nope, didn't crash. Um, because we want to pick up a trailer to sell our milk. So we have the Joskin Aquatrans. Um, but I really like the LSFM tanks. So actually we're going to go for that because it's a lot bigger and the price isn't that different. So seven and a half thousand litre tank i'm tempted to buy another one of these to use for slurry and um, the, the bigger version the eighteen thousand litre tank and um, probably after harvest when we've hopefully got enough slurry and digestate to be useful we'll probably pick one of those up as well but let's get some milk sold first load of milk going off to be sold it's kind of nice that cows produce milk from the start and you don't have to wait that year you had to in 19. It's one of the features I don't miss from Seasons. First time visiting this cell point and uh, yeah, get some milk sold. Very clear milk and very high purity, obviously. And I actually missed how much we made. You'll have seen that, so you'll know. Yeah, decent amount. It's interesting playing on hard economy it's not something that i would normally do and it is making contracts much more useful and um, as i said getting some silage sold end of december now moving into january soon and yeah I, I, we don't need all this silage that we've got i probably shouldn't have even cut so much but i have a problem so yeah I think before first cut we may end up leasing a lorry and a big trailer and just selling it direct there are some points that will buy silage direct from us and we may do that just to clear it out and uh, fresh start for spring with first cut anyway thanks for watching folks if you enjoyed the video hit the like button we do not smash like buttons i need the likes and i'll catch you next time on calmstone